What's good, y'all? Coming with another good old Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak gameplay. Anybody that's familiar with this scene, though, we finna be hunting next. I love the intros in these games, by the way. Uh oh. Yes, sir. An old adversary. That man is gonna remember this for the rest of his life. How often do these felines come in contact with elder dragons and the like? Because you have to believe that if our character runs into them en enough times, then the people who actually, or well not people, but um, the creatures and stuff that actually live out here run into them like a decent amount. That should be like, you know what, really? That should be our reconnaissance right there. They should use the felines and palicos to do all the reconnaissance and then they come back and tell us they'd be like our ambu. <laughs> they'd be like our ambu with all the intel. Be like, meow. Also, is there a class on feline? Like, how do they go? How do people in this world go from speaking Wyverian to becoming familiar with feline? Feline speak. I'm not really that lore intensive. It might explain it, but. I've been playing a decent amount of Insect Lab. That's typically what I main in Monster Hunter World. So I was like, why not just play some more of that on here? I hate these flying wyverns that just be in the air, in the way. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, that's, that's really not healthy. He can just spit tornadoes now. At least they're not as long lasting as uh, how they were. Like when you get to that, that final part of the fight and Monster Hunter World and you meet him like on this little perch. Cause not that there is really annoying. Oh. Maybe I should have brought my katana out. Doing too much moving. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's significantly more than last time, unless I wasn't paying attention. Was that red lightning? Hmm, I've never seen him do something like that before. Unless that's a callback to like one of the older games. Okay. He already took out. Oh, well, I had a moment. Like he can't be landing right in front of me. What was that monstrosity? Dragon Blight. Okay. I sure was gonna ask. I was like, is that? Oh. Okay. Wind beam breath. <laughs> mm. 
Just don't get that up out here. Buffs up. My can suck. Ooh. Tricolor buff is what we're doing for, folks. I wish I could be like the speedrunner guys and then just sit here and <laughs> run with the low health build. And then min max the damage. Oh. Oh. Turf war? No. Dang, Magna, Magna Molo hitting on that. He got the Elder Dragon looking sideways, boy. Come on, Mush. I just wanted to see what this is. This doesn't really help my hunt, but I just wanted to see what his mounted attack was like. Yeah, he's probably gonna do it. Yep. Be cool, man. Be cool. Yeah, there you go. Drift. They said, do you want to drift a Palamute? Get one today. Man is a walking storm system. Well, actually, at this point, what Elder Dragon really isn't at this point? Just walking calamities. Oh. His wings are still. Okay, so way more acute control. Those tornadoes are giving me behemoth PTSD. Anybody knows who, who knows about that foolishness on Monster Hunter World knows all too well. I really should post some gameplay of that too. Really, no reason not to play both. They're like similar and different enough to like be like, yeah. Oh, I wish I knew he was gonna do the horn. Well, he probably said it. I look, he be sometimes ignoring my palico because he be doing a lot of talking while we be fighting. Like, <laughs> anybody seen my horn? It's like how in Apex people wish Valk would shut up sometimes. She's like the most vocal legend in the entire game. Wings out.
<laughs> That's one of those games sometimes that you can't have your <laughs> you gotta mix your sound just right. Cause some of the characters be having like a lot to say about one thing. Or sometimes about nothing at all. Oh, that looks different. Oh, that looks unhealthy. I should probably get out of that. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Classic Kushala. I wanted to have the bow I made uh, from Kushala in the last game. Are you dipping? Now, one thing I really will say that I really like about this game in comparison to Monster Hunter World is the fact that you can do a lot of the like menial stuff like in between area changes like mid uh mid you know transportation and like you definitely move around the map a lot faster but i feel like the map uh design was a little different for monster hunter world which kind of accounts for that like you didn't get around slow it had all kinds of like vines and then they had the wire bugs I don't know if I have those names confused, but the little beetles who used to sit at the top of structures and you sit there and grapple to them. Stop backing up. Then I would say, you know, like by doing all of this stuff, we're like disrupting the natural order of this world. But when guys can just summon tornadoes on command and have no regard for human life, then kind of reaching an impasse. Tornado summoning Rage Lizard. Even though in video games turns, I kind of don't have to justify it, but you know. Yeah, I just did that to get all the way out of the way of that. Knew they were gonna throw something big. No, he sidestepped my Kinsect, my ultimate attack. I need to make a stamina build. Definitely need to make a woo. That came in hot. I thought I could dodge out of his range. Oh, I did that by mistake. Cut him up. Come on, get you up out that tail. Hey, that you can't like <clears throat> grapple out of that that fall. I really like this music. It's hitting me in the feels, bro. That's one thing I really like about like a lot of adventure and like fictional games and stuff. Well, most most games are fictional games, but 
You know what I mean? It was like the whole adventure game like soundtrack, especially from like Japanese titles. They just really like hit right, you know what I'm saying? That's like uh my basically my favorite fighting game, Blaze Blue. The music in Blaze Blue, oh my gosh. It's just regular soundtrack where they like. Do you think think your favorite rapper to drop a mixtape the way I'll be talking about it? Be like, yeah, man, Black Onslaught is my favorite. Come on, Buckaroonie. Come on, give it up. As soon as I said, hey, it shoots three tornadoes at me. Very unhealthy. He was trying to go over there to run smoke. Oh. Oh, he's taking the air. Oh, he's taking the air. Oh, boy. And you're looking for me after you just got violated by this man? Come here. I'm gonna put you to work. Get in there. Yeah, get all the way in there, one boy. All the trouble Magna be giving me, you gonna fight. Yeah, you gonna fight. His entering demon time. Now something told me not to walk through. I was like, I see a spot I can walk through. And I was like, nah, that wouldn't be smart. I should have dodged to the side. He feels bad. Oh, but he's mad, mad. <laughs> he mad, mad. Oh. I don't think. Okay. He upset, upset. I'm about to say, y'all better give me something. This was just talking about some dragons, but. Stay away from my plants. They flying over, making all that noise like they gon' like they gonna bang about it. <clears throat> I 
My ears. That's me in real life. Oh. Okay. No. Oh. That did more damage than the tornado. It's hurting. You know it is. It's stinging. The pressure is getting worse. It's stinging. Until he started turning up. When they gonna make us some Monster Hunter mix? And <laughs> grab a minute. Where you going? I've been meaning to play Monster Hunter stories. Play Pokemon Monster Hunter. He said, you ever been hit by a Ford F-150 before? That tree didn't do nothing to you, big fella. T-Grex won't smoke too. I should turn up on him, but I know what I'm gonna do. Dang, turn around. Yeah, come here. Dirty dog. Come on. 
be out here going crazy and causing messing up my fight. You did your job. Yes, sir. Hey, the Palomir don't care. <laughs> he said, spin the win, sucker. Yes, yeah, sir. Go ahead and pick up my loot. <clears throat> that last mount phase put me in the right spot, but. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now we gotta hit the. Uh, 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 hold on. Yes, sir. Gang. I like how the, the stances and the weapon pose set change depending on what weapon you're using. I know that's like not a not like an amazing thing or anything, but I just think it's kind of cool that attention, the extra little attention to detail. So All right, y'all. It's been real. Check out my other vids. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be posting more stuff. You know me. But it's Sintar Savage signing out. Peace.